Hey guys, welcome to this After Effects tutorial. I'm just going to walk you through uh, some basics. I work for a client, um, and this uh, client does nutritional videos, food videos, workout videos, and things like that. Check him out at uh, witmccoy.com. Um, really cool stuff, but for this client, I wanted to make a frame to where when I import in a new video, it's easy, it's quick, and um, efficient so I'm gonna turn my speakers down a little bit here to not to blast you guys but this is basically what we got going so far I'm gonna just preview preview it for you okay and then he'll come in with a video and then at the end of that video it will and of course I need to edit this um, but it will have an outro where everything Okay, so I just wanted to walk you through a few of the basics of After Effects today. I'll be making a lot more of these videos. We'll be digging in deeper. Um, but this is relatively easy to make. After Effects, like all of Adobe's uh, software and most, most creative software, uses layers. So what's on top is going to be visible over what's on bottom. right? So these are the layers right here. And they're, they're, you can do a lot of stuff from these different panels. Um, for now, I want to... And, 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 You'll see that uh, under the layer name here, you'll see these two, these different kinds of things. We have an image. Well, it's actually a video. It says image, but the name of that, in fact, let me just rename that. That's a video of the actual food, right? That's what we're seeing played back there with the skillet and the eggs and stuff. Um, and I have, you see, I have that sandwiched in between. Well, that's that's because I want the things on top to remain on top. I want this. WhitmanMcCoy.com with his logo, and I want the social icons to lay on top of that video footage. So that's all found here, and I I labeled that social icons, and then outro I just did, and I'll show you what I did for outro. I uh, copy and pasted this social icons uh, layer, and I, and in fact, let me let me scroll in here. That's Alt, holding Alt and um, up and down on your roll bar on your mouse will let you scroll in and out zoom in and out so just to get a little more accurate all I did here is I copy and pasted that and then I animated the icons and the words okay so I'm gonna break into each of these real quick and just kinda give you a overview first we have the intro the intro starts out with the logo a cool effect comes in I'm gonna double click into this composition now, the, so we have a video and we have four compositions. Compositions, um, they start out like, they can start out like regular layers and then you can um, pre-compose them, meaning basically you can group them. So if you're familiar with Photoshop, this is like making a group. It's really good for organizing your project and for applying mass effects. Like if you want every element to zoom out at the same pace, you'll want to put it in a composition first and then you're zooming out that group or that composition as the language um, After Effects uses. So I'm going to double click into this composition. Now this is called main. Um, in fact, I'm going to, can I rename that composition? If I go here, if I go here, I'm going to rename that to um, intro. It makes more sense. Okay, so intro is, is the logo and it's got this cool effect on it. You'll see that I uh, have two things that are invisible. I can actually delete those, so just don't confuse you. I have two things going on here. I have two logos, um, and if I hit U, it'll show you all of what I have going on. So this logo, so if I hide this, you see it's this very fuzzy, it's the blurred in logo here. Okay, and, and the effect that I have going on is uh, just opacity with, I'm sorry, with a fast blur. I have a fast blur, and you can find all of your effects over here, effects and presets. So you can find your uh, fast blur just by typing in here, fast blur. That's blur and sharpen. And I have that fast blur. If I look at it, if I go to my effects control panel, I have these attributes set on it. So it's going to blur and then fade out. So that, that, that gives you the um, effect. If I go back to here, 
that gives you that effect. So now let me go back in and make um, both of them visible. So this one, if I make this one invisible, this is what's going on here. This is, I have the light sweeps. Those are really simple. They are CC light sweeper. You start them, so when you you, you grab this um, effect from up here, you'll, you'll grab CC light sweep. And when you drag it and drop it onto your layer, you will have to move the center point. So what you'll do is you'll, you'll start a new center. And you see the center is this part right here. And when you're actually going to move that, you see what happens when you move that? So you start it up here. And then you, um, so you start it over here off of, the, off of the lettering. And then you move it to across the lettering over here. So when you play that, it's just going to go across, give you that light effect. Very cool, very easy. And in this case, I do two of them. So I start one, and then I do another one that's slightly wider and a little more not as sharp coming right after it. Okay? So I'll show you that one. That's just a little wider. I went in and made uh, that. Let me show you the attributes. I just made the thickness bigger, the width bigger, and... Um, to, to make it just to give it a little bit of uh, yeah to make it a little more baller okay so back in the beginning that's what comes in and, and then I have an effect on the actual composition like I told you so I made this composition um, called intro and now I can do things like the scale the scales coming up it's getting bigger um, I can have this transition the grid wipe I have the grid wipe coming in so when I play that, I get So now let me go back into intro and make everything visible. So we see the end result there. Kind of zooms in. And that just fades out. And that, that's a, a, if I go back in, I believe that's that fade right. Actually, let's see where that fade is that I have. Oh, so that never fades out. Uh, and of course, this is what happens is this layer fades in. So the video fades in on top of that. So I never have to fade out my intro. It just uh, goes away by itself. Okay, so that's that layer. The social icons layer, if I click in here, you'll see I have all of my social icons. They're sitting there chilling, and I have my words and my logo, and that they just sit there the whole time. And they, they come in at the beginning, they, they flip in um, right there. If I go to you, I'll show you know that there's just a cool that's called stretch, uh, stretch master control. What is that effect called? Stretch master. So you can you can check that out. It's pretty simple. It just kind of it kind of flips over, and then these guys. I just did a opacity and a move. So I change their opacity and I change their position. That's really basic to give that look. And then from there, the video comes in, he'll talk. And of course the music I have, uh, I, I, I make separate audio uh, compositions because I have several different options for, for production music. And again, this just streamlines your project. So if you want to uh, change the audio, you don't have to always drag in new files. You can just go into your composition and mute the ones you don't want and uh, unmute the ones that you do. So that makes audio really easy and then I just have the, the decibels go down here. So if I go, that goes from negative 8 all the way to negative 38 and I believe the lowest you can go there is what, 48, right? So 48 will be like not, not hearing it. And then at the end, so I want to make this video, I'm going to wrap it up. I know there's a lot that I'm going over very quickly. At the end here, I have the outro. All I did there is I took all of the positions. I took this uh, composition. I copy and pasted each element into a new composition called outro. And then from there, I, and I actually see, I, I don't know if you can tell, I, I have see my blab icon moving. I got to fix that. Right, it's moving up and down, that's not cool. So let's find blab, and let's go to right there. That should fix it, okay. 
So I had it just not doing the right thing. Um, and now those all move up and then the words all trans and then I added words, of course, the words all transition in with a type uh, typewriter effect. And then the, then the whole thing, if you look at the whole thing, zooms. So the scale is just all way right starting right here, the scale starts to move and get bigger. And I have it scaled all the way back here to give me a runway. So then I can um, uh, send all of this to the render and chop videos out really quickly. So if I built this from scratch every time, we're looking at an hour process minimum. But if I pre-built this and all I'm doing is feeding in new footage, it's a very, very quick editing process. So hope you guys enjoyed. If you have any questions, please ask in the comments. If you like it, please subscribe and I'll see you next time.